Now, as per usual, I have taped off my big three foot by four foot canvas and backed it, as you see there with my piece of foam pour, so there's no pooling in the center. And once again, over there, the other two completed paintings. And we're hopefully gonna be able to put a, another cohesive <laughs> abstract fluid art seascape over there to join them uh, after we're done with this pour. Okay, I'm gonna show you and talk a little bit about my colors. Um, my white for these seascapes has been um, <clears throat> Art Deco satin enamels, uh, white, pure white, and um, the Artist Loft soft body white mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800, a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit of GAC 800, and some water. And my colors are. Um, Venetian blue, and that second color is a little bit of the soft body blue and cerulean blue mixed together. And then the next color is cerulean blue mixed with Liquitex, uh, I think light blue permanent. And then the lightest blue is the soft body blue mixed with white and mixed with quite a bit more artist, artist loft soft body white to make it lighter. Now the silver that I'm using is Liquitex metallic silver and then the color that you see there is the pewter and I think there's a little tiny bit of the uh, Venetian blue in there as well and yeah, those are my colors and I know I've gone over that before but I think this clears it up a little bit more than maybe the previous videos because that's kind of the formula that I've been sticking to so that I can keep some cohesiveness between these paintings over there, color scheme wise. Um, so yeah, so those are my colors. So I'm gonna meet you down on the canvas. Okay, I've gone ahead and poured my cups and as you can see, that's a pretty cup. You can kind of see in there. Very pretty. Um, and I went ahead and poured my other lighter up of sky, <laughs> the sky colors that are gonna go closer to the horizon. As you can see, that's a pretty cup too. It's just quite a bit lighter, um, but really pretty. And I like how the silver and that really light blue are kind of even looking in the cup. Hope I get something similar to that when we do the flip. So let's go and do our flips now. <clears throat> makes perfect and with time you can't help it maybe get a little bit better so I think we're gonna work these two together so I'll do the other flip and close by Set a little bit. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. Looks like there's a lot of reactionary kind of cell action going on there. Try to let some of that out. We'll fill in what's there. There, that's nice. Okay. So I've got to let that kind of settle for a second. So all this colors mix from the bottom out to the canvas. All right, let's see what we get. I may need to go to the other side. Always seems to work better for this. As I trip and fall and kill myself. <laughs> okay. Nice. So I like that 
that. It's a pretty good drag too. and color scheme of the higher portions to be a little more dark with a little bit more color in the sky and a little bit lighter as we're gradating down towards the horizon so even before we tilt I'm liking that the look of that Thank you for joining me on this Sunday fun day crazy train of fluid art video and I wanted to mention that Frosty Eye Candy show The Joy of Pouring starts at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and if you missed the, the live uh, show you can go back and watch that and following Frosty will be uh, Venom Fluid Art at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time following Darren from Venom Fluid Art will be Creations by Christy at five at six forty five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All and Christy will be Sheldon of Shell Rock Art at seven p.m. And following Sheldon is Britt Clayton Design at at seven fifteen p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I am the Caboose. Bring <laughs> Bringing up the rear here at the caboose, I am at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm really happy to be on this Sunday fun day crazy train of fluid art videos. And please, if you missed anybody, go back and watch everyone. I know this is a very, very fun evening of fluid art and a very diverse evening of fluid art. And I'm very proud to be a part of it. Okay, I'm really loving the bands that I'm getting through the sky here with these flip cups that I did. I really like that design of those kind of wavy looking uh, gradiated bands of blue. And uh, I love that they have some white kind of pearl cells popping through. And as you can see, I poured the lower portion of the sky now um, and you're gonna see me tilt this more severely back and forth. We can take it to the stars where you wanna go. Stop me, can't do the meet the crew, you know. Honey, honey, I got what you want. If I see any more pop up, I will go after them. But I'm really liking how this gave this more of the horizontal effect that I want in order for you to kind of sort of feel that this is a sky down towards the horizon and I feel like we're getting really good kind of horizon margin here. Now the trick is going to be can I pour this lower, you know, fourth in a way that I don't lose this feeling. That will be the challenge. Okay, so I'm going to pour that cup for the foreground. Okay, I've poured my cup for the bottom portion. As you can see in there, there's a lot more color and a lot more metallics and things in there. Still pretty, but more earthy, more, you know, grounding like for the lower fourth of the painting. Okay, so third 
times charm. <laughs> now I don't even know what this is. Fourth, fifth times charm. So we're going to give this a little bit more interest with some more Venetian blue in here. Now, I just wanted to say I really appreciate all of my friends in the fluid art world. They've been a big help and inspiration to me when I took on this large scale commission of these four three by four foot panels that I had to do for this uh, office um, building complex. And people like Britta Clayton, who really helped and um, just gave me words of encouragement and um, Sarah Mack, who really, <clears throat> really gave me a lot of tips and tricks and things that she's done when she's done larger scale uh, poor paintings such as these and of course people like Chris Schneider who does so many beautiful fluid art seascapes and landscapes and it's just wonderful to have this kind of fluid art community that you can get so much support from. If you're liking this video and finding it informative or entertaining, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up and like the video. And then when you do, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment because I love to hear from you. Now you can see that I poured the lower portion, that lower quarter of the seascape. And so I just poured another kind of like half cup of more of the cerulean and silver and white and things in there to kind of give this a little bit more dimension. And I felt like I was getting a little too much of that Venetian blue, dark blue in there. So. I was hoping by pouring and tilting this other cup, I could get a little bit more reaction, stretching it across the canvas, maybe with some cells popping up, and so that it would relate better to the other panel so I wasn't getting just these huge amounts of the you know, darker Venetian blue. Um, and I think that's what it did. And as you can see, tilting back and forth, it really created, now that you can see that it was tilted a little bit more severely, I'm gonna get quite a bit more cell action and kind of the bouldery cells from those metallic silvers like that deco art pewter and uh, more dynamics to that kind of what would be the lower foreground portion of the landscape slash seascape. Definitely something that I feel like can relate to the others. It has a little bit more like the first painting, a little bit more of the cerulean mixed in with it, and it has its own personality. And I think it's really interesting. It almost looks more like you're looking at a mountain range there, and then some you know gradients of the blues and the you know, trailing on down in the foreground. 
from those rock formations at the bottom. So, very nice. All right. Third one down, one more to go. <laughs> cells in there. You can see them. And how this is kind of sweeping through there. And all the cell action that's happening through there. Thank you for watching this Sunday fun day crazy train of fluid art videos. I really had an amazing time with you. I hope you have as well. And I'm going to leave a description in the description box everybody's links to their videos so please check them all out and I really love how this piece turned out I love all the beautiful cells and lacing in this uh, seascape in this fluid art seascape and as you can see they're really interesting cells and shapes and you can see all three pieces here and how they relate they're relating nicely to each other and as always I had so much fun, I can't wait until we meet again for some more fun pouring together.